Welcome back to Ways Learning, and what are we doing today? Learning. Yeah, today we're learning how to re-grip a racket. Now, not re, what's it called, recover a grip, but actually re-grip a racket, take it back down to the plastic. And I have the privilege of, I've got Coach Carly Ewers. She is the official tennis coach for the Goddard Middle School Lions. So they're also looking for sponsorship. If anybody's out there wants to sponsor them, because the girls need t-shirts. So <laughs> anyway, um, she's gonna show us how to regrip a racket. So what do we need to regrip it? Oh, and we'll put, um, we're using the Gamma Pro Light. We got them at uh, Walmart or Sports Authority. So we'll put a link in the description if you wanna order it on uh, from Amazon. So what all do we need to regrip it? We all regrip those two, right? Yes, so these two have been regripped. We're just going to show this you. This one looks a little. What are we regripping it? I mean, when would you want to do an overgrip and a, just a regrip? So you'd want to do an overgrip if you're just starting to see some wear and tear. Like maybe um, you're starting to see a gap um, and you're getting a lot of blisters or your hands are getting really sweaty and you're not able to really get a good hold on it. Um, but if it's, you know, I mean, you can see how worn this one is if it's yeah, the, lost the, all the, of it the bottom's cracked too looks like it might have been might have been dropped or thrown not yeah that, with the that love might have been a little bit of a yeah. meme rise who chin getting a little feisty i think that might there. have been max i mean max could have tossed it too yeah i mean it could have been anybody who knows definitely wasn't me okay so but this one when we say regrip we're going to be replacing the whole thing okay so you're so. taking it all the way down to plastic yes so um, you'll just start pulling it from the top and it'll just slowly come off like this. And then there's going to be gunk underneath here and that's okay. You just, just leave it. Just leave it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of not quite as pretty. You like, could leave like a little timestamp message to somebody like if they stole it. Mm -hmm. like you, hey, please. Property it. of coach. Yeah. Property of coach. Yeah. Stealer. Yeah. Okay, so this one has a little like um, plastic thing at the top. Yeah. And I just am gonna work that up out of the way um, and then I'll work it back down when we're finished. Okay. So all you need is gamma grip, a little bit of electrical tape, and some scissors, and your racket, and you're ready to roll. Okay, and that's all. So, I'm just gonna throw that away. Trash. Yeah. Okay, throw that over here. Okay, so your grip is going to come with a new grip and a new little top piece. Yeah, it goes um, around, it just, it just tapes around the top, right? Yeah, it goes around the neck of the racket. Okay. So you're gonna start by pulling off the protective. Okay, there's two There's layer. two ends. There's a tapered and another one. Which one are you gonna start with? So the tapered edge is gonna start at the bottom. Okay, so when you are looking at the butt of the racket, see the crack, ignore that. Um, we're gonna take the tapered edge and since I'm right-handed, I'm going to start it on the right side. If you're left-handed, you're going to put it on the left side. So to clarify, right hand is going to be counterclockwise as you wrap. Left hand is going to be clockwise. So I'm going to get it nice and close up to the butt of the racket all the way around the edge. And it looks like you're kind of stretching it. Mm -hmm. And you stretch it as you go. Um, you want to keep that tension so that it's nice and tight. So you're just going to slowly wrap it around. And when you get to where you've started, you're going to overlap it about an eighth of an inch. You're going to work your way all the way around. And if you get too far, you can. What do you mean too far? Like, you like get if too... you overlap, like if you start going straight and you're like, whoa, then you can pull it back and get your angle Oh, uh, so you just kind of want to assess it as you go. Yeah, and you can see where the previous grip was, so you can kind of use that as a guide for where you want to put your replacement grip. Yeah, I guess you kind of stay on that same line every time you'll mm -hmm. be fine. And you just keep going all the way around. Keep the tension, right? Yeah, so you wanna keep your hands like really tight, like you're always pulling as you're pressing simultaneously. It's kind of a good little hand workout. Oh, 
Oh, looks like yellow. But you see how this one has like the holes in it? Mm -hmm. Once those are worn, you want to replace your grip because that's what helps with like kind of like dry fit clothing, like has those little holes in it. Same effect. I feel like you might be making that up, but <laughs> I'm going to go with it. It's, it's science? <laughs> okay, I'm going to trust the science. I don't know. It makes sense. Yeah, I mean. Like, don't know enough facts to, to say whether you're not or not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Felt good. Okay, so I'm nearing the edge. Yeah, so is this where you're going to cut it? Yes. So, here we go. See how we worked it all the way around? And then we're going to cut it at an angle to cover that little area. So, I'm going to flip it around and show you on the table. Okay. So, see how it's all the way around? We've got it nice and grip, nice and even. You're going to set it down, pull out your scissors, and we're going to cut it at an angle, like a slice of pizza. And you cut it longer. I mean, you don't have to cut the angle. Yeah, you shorter. could cut it this way if you wanted to, to make it longer. But I just want it to be, and it doesn't have to be perfect, because remember, you have that secondary piece. So it's about that big is how big mine is. So then you're going to take that and pull it tight again, wrap it around. Like that, so see how that oh. even, somewhat even all the way around. Yeah. But again, the key is that you want it tight. So that's where we bring in our electrical tape. Okay. So like I said earlier, you don't have to use electrical tape, but you can never make it too tight. So just like to put that on. And I think the electrical tape has a nice stretch to it, which makes it kind of easier to work with. Um, so you want to push that down and then push the electrical tape on top of it and then pull and wrap it all the way around. You're really just securing it. Yeah. Finishing it off, yep. You're just kind of wrapping it around. So everything from the bottom to the top has been overlapped. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yep. So, and you'll be able to tell how much um, stronger your grip can be, how much more comfortable it is right away. Okay, now you're just adding a little, what, what came with the kit. Yes, so this is what they want you to use instead of electrical tape, but we're just using both. And then we're gonna come with the leather on top, so we're really gonna be locked and loaded. Okay, so I'm just placing that over the top like I did with the electrical tape, and I'm gonna work it all the way around, like that, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to take this piece, work it back down, like so. All right. Ta-da! Nice. How's it feel? <laughs> Good to go. Game, set, match. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.